Canva is probably one of the most versatile tools I've worked with when it comes to design. I've impressed my colleagues on more than one occasion with professional looking designs that I worked out in no time. You can do it too. I will also introduce you to a couple of tools that I use to make my life a little bit easier. Let's get straight to it. All you do is you go to canva.com and you will be met with this typical screen of signing up. Sign up, you can use your Google account or Facebook. So you'll be met with this pop-up screen to try uh, Canva Premium. It's really, really affordable, but you don't have to. But if you just want to try it out at first, stick with the free version. So once you're in, it's pretty straightforward. You have an idea in mind of what you would like to design. You can either try and scroll through the list here and waste your time, or you can just go straight to search if there's any templates that you're looking for. What I like to do is I just start with creating a design and in the search bar, I type what I'm looking for. So for instance, I want to do a poster. Immediately when you type in poster, you have a couple of options. You'll see there's different sizes as well to choose from. So the most typical one is the portrait one, A3. Bear in mind that the sizing that you choose is important because if you choose poster but it's an A4 size and you try and print it on an A3 size paper, the quality of the design is affected. So make sure if you have in mind you're going to print it on an A3 size, then you choose poster A3. Portrait versus landscape is also important to remember. Once you're in, this is the basic template. You can go do the tour, or I just skip the tour. So what you have on the left side is everything that you need to design. In the design itself, you find templates. In elements, you find things to add to the templates. A picture, a, an emoji, uh, graphics, stickers, frames, tables. Brand Hub. So if you sign up to the pro or the premium version, you can include your personal brand font, colors, logos in here. So every time you design, you just go and collect it from there. On the free version, you can't do that. Uploads. This is anything that you upload to use. It is a picture, it is a video, or it is just an audio. You can see here images. There you can upload videos, audios, and you can connect it to all of these uh, apps that you can see on the screen. Google Drive, Dropbox, Facebook, or Instagram, that it can pull photos directly from those apps to use here. Text. This is just where you can preset your default text styles. So when you are designing, it is easy enough to just say, add a heading, add a subheading, or add some body text. Or you can just look for some text here. There is a large database of different kinds of text, combination of text as well that work well. Also, keep in mind, you can't just throw two different fonts together and think that they always, if you want to call it, harmonize. So it's nice to use the fonts that they have on Canva because those generally go well together. Draw. If you would like to draw, you can. It's not a feature that I use much. Projects. So you can start saving your projects either on the home screen or you can save it directly here by creating a folder uh, or starring it if it's an important one and you can add your designs right here. What is really nice is the feature that you can add apps on your Canva. What I'm talking about here is popular apps such as YouTube. If I say, listen, I want to include YouTube videos at some point in my designs because you can do videos as well on Canva, then you can go through all the YouTube videos here. Here you can see the app is added into the bottom of the screen. If I want to add a little bit more, I can add my Google Drive, so it pulls photos directly from my Google Drive. I can add, what is a nice one? Oh, Giphy's. Giphy's is nice. If you want to make a presentation with some funny content. And one that I would suggest to also add is Pexels. So Pexels is free as a database of free stock images. You would always, as with any software, you have the upgrade version where you can pay to get better pictures or maybe higher quality or more tailored to exactly what you're looking for in the picture. But Pexels is really nice, which means if I've got Pexels here, I literally click on a picture and it's added to my screen. The other option beyond Pexels is something called Unsplash.com. Here you can also type in a, a forest scene. And you will have free pictures on the top. If you see this little plus, it means that is the premium version that you have to sign up for. 
you can scroll through it look for something that is really nice and always at the bottom you will see uh, premium images that you can pay for if you want them this is the basics of where you are starting so the best place to start if you have no design background which i don't is just to look at the templates because normally let's just delete this picture so always look say you don't have the box you don't want to sign up now you're just trying it out then the easiest way to do this is to look for this little crown if you see some somewhere on a design on a template that there's a crown it means that's the pro version so you will have to pay for it to use it or you can download it but there will be a watermark from canva on the design which is probably not what you want let's keep it easy with this one so without doing anything you've got a design so from this point everything that is on the design is editable to an extent sometimes you can just change a shadow or the hue of the picture sometimes you can change everything of that uh, element to a different color so for instance you can see i've got leaves there and this top bar that's everything you need to edit that's all of, that's all of your options that you can use to edit so if i say edit photo on the left hand side you will find options how to edit and you can go and play through different effects you can blur there's a dew tone you can focus it you can have different kinds of filters over it which is really nice these are all the pro versions where you can start removing the background and you can do some other magic edits with it you can see i cannot change the colors of the leaf but i can flip it so you can flip it horizontally obviously and then flip vertically Animate, this is when you start doing presentations. So you can choose on the left hand side, you'll see there's different options to animate this, but for a poster that's not relevant. And the position, so everything on the on the canvas in front of you is layered. So sometimes you want something more to the back because something needs to be right in front. Sometimes you want it on the same level, and this is where you play with the position. So you click on the element and you change the position. You say I want it to the back. If it doesn't do anything, it means it's already as far back as it's possible. If you say to front, it means I skip all the layers and I go straight to the front. If I say to back, I skip all the layers, I go straight to the back and I'm part of the background. So you can move that back there. And here you can then start changing the color of the font. So this is where you find all the different fonts. There are hundreds of fonts. So you can scroll through, see all the premium ones. And you can just try them out. You can click on something and you can try them out and see what works for you, what doesn't work. Um, this is a font size. You can increase it. You can highlight it. You can increase just a portion of the font. Just that bit can increase, but the bottom bit stays the same size. And this is where you change the color. So what is nice about Canva is that it will automatically pick up the colors of whatever is in your design. If it's a picture or if it's a template. Because here you can see I've got all the colors that's already in here. So I don't have to go and find the color now. But if I want to change it, this is where I would go. I can go to a different color. I can find colors here. Or if you click on this one, you can choose your own color. So this is a normal, typical color scale. And something that is a good idea to get used to is this little part here, which is called hex colors. It's a hashtag and it's six numbers or a mixture of numbers and letters that is the specific code of the color and why i'm why i'm saying this is a very nice thing to use is when you don't have your brand colors incorporated here maybe you're still trying the free version but you are using your brand colors in another place maybe in word maybe in powerpoint or somewhere else and you perhaps forget what are your colors it's always nice to come back here and say listen maybe this little star is like typically my brand color that i'm using and then i can go there i don't see it necessarily unless you hover over it you can just click on this little plus here and immediately you can just copy the the code there and go and use it wherever else this is the transparency tool the nifty little tool so if you wanted to blend a little bit more in the background you can decrease the transparency or you can have the full color right there the paint tool is the same as what you find in Word and a PowerPoint and Excel. You, it's a copy and paste function for the font or the color of an element. So for instance, you can't just click on the block. You have to highlight what you want to um, copy. So I want to use, for instance, I like the font and I like the color of this. I say copy this style 
and now I'm going to put it there and immediately it changes to the style that I've copied. You can say back or control Z will undo everything that you've done. It automatically saves so you don't have to click save at any time. Okay, let's say I want to add some more elements. The elements is my favorite section. So I don't like these leaves, not my style. Okay, so I just type in leaves and I have multiple leaves to choose from. You can get graphics, there are photos, videos, and frames. So a frame is where you add a picture. So if I use this little frame of the leaves, you can see you can't really see it. The moment you see green hill-like vibes with a blue sky, you know that you can add a picture in there. Let me add pixels in here. All right, so in here I'm going to search for leaves again. Leaves. So here you've added the picture and if you drag it over it will automatically fill your frame. And there you can see you have a frame. Maybe you don't like the angle so you change it. That one, say we delete that one and you put something in there. This is not a design that anyone would approve. It's just to illustrate how you can use that. And then you can see there are stickers and there are photos. You can add lines, so different kind of lines, arrows, graphics, and then shapes. So if you don't know what you're looking for, just type in a laughing emoji. So I type in laughing emoji. And I have options. I can choose between photos, I can choose between graphics, or I can choose between videos. Maybe this is not my style. I need women sitting behind desk because I need something for, for the poster. There you go. Graphics. I can choose photos, but perhaps I like my graphics. And I have options. And what is really nice, if you, just, if you start playing with the different options, you get magic recommendations. This is Canva picking up your style and what you like. And giving you more suggestions. Normally your magic recommendations will be the pro version. Once you are done with your design you go to share. You can copy the link to share with someone else to have a look. So you can collaborate as a team. There's limited options obviously with the free version. And then you go to download. Download gives you options. JPEG is the best for sharing. PNG is for more complex images. It might be a bigger file. It might be more difficult to share it over email. PDF standard, so it, it makes it very simple for you. You can either, this is a PDF that you want to email and this is a PDF for printing. Normally for something like a poster, you would use the PDF for printing. And what is nice, so SVG, this is specifically to design. This is also included in the premium version. If there's any animation in there, you can download it as an MP3, MP4 video or you can make a GIF out of it. So I want to print here. So if you use a graphic designer for your templates, they will automatically include something called crop marks and bleed. If you're doing this yourself, which is why you're using Canva, then you can include that automatically by saying crop marks and bleed. The only thing that this does is when you download it as a PDF and you open it on your computer, it shows you where the typical lines would be around the poster where it will be cut. So when you open it and you see that you've got text that falls outside of this line, you know it's going to get cut off there on the poster. So you can go back to Canva and fix it. So let's say we download this. You can see here, these black lines, this is where they will cut the poster. So I'm quite happy because I've got no text that falls outside of those lines. And on the side, no. And then you're pretty much ready to send it to the printers. And that's the basics of Canva. It's really, really straightforward, really, really easy. And you can do anything you want on there. You type in Instagram stories, Instagram post, YouTube banner, LinkedIn banner, presentation. By the way, check out the upcoming videos that I'm sharing about how you can make very nice presentations on Canva and extra tips and tricks that I'm sharing to make it even easier using a little bit of AI.